Okay, so before I hop in, I have to tell you something really exciting that I just learned today. So a lot of you guys have become uh, tea addicts after you're, I've told you about how amazing this tea is. Some of you think it's disgusting and whatever, but some of you guys like this just as much as me. Um, this is just for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, and I realize these sentences are making no sense. This is a half green tea, half passion tea, unsweetened from Starbucks. Well, okay, so for the longest time, my dad told me I needed to get a Starbucks card, and I was like, Dad, I don't go to Starbucks enough. And then I finally realized, I was like, I think I'm in denial. I think I do go to Starbucks enough. So I bought the card, and it turns out when you have a Starbucks card, which is basically like buying yourself a gift card to Starbucks, and you register it online, if you buy a tea and you go back later that day, you get free refills, which for someone like me, like I'll get tea in the morning, and I end up wanting tea again by like early afternoon, and then I want tea at night because I just love it. So it ends up being free. So yeah, let's hop in. So this month's Birch Box, um, I'm not going to lie, when I first opened it, I was a little bit bummed, and then it turned out I was just confused on what some of the products were, and so once I kind of clarified what some of these things were, I was actually pretty excited. So, um, you open up the box, just like this, oh, for those of you who don't know, Birch Box is a monthly subscription service, $10 a month, and you get deluxe size samples of high-end beauty products um, delivered to your door every month, and they're an awesome company with awesome customer service, and it's a really fun thing to get in your mailbox every month. So, okay, there was a little card, I'm not gonna lie, I think I accidentally threw the card away, I don't know where the card is now, but yeah. So the first thing, I'll start off with the one product in here, this is kind of a downer way to start, but then everything else will be up. The one product in here that kind of disappointed me, and that is the Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer in Bronze by Laura Geller. Now, the reason this kind of disappointed me is because, I don't know if any of you guys get this, but I, it's weird, when I was younger, my face was always whiter than the rest of my body, and now my face is darker than the rest of my body. Like, and my makeup tends to get darker throughout the day. So, um, this was not, yeah, this was not something I was so excited about. Um, I may end up giving this away or giving this to a sibling or something like that. But now, on to things. And I just had a, like, revelation. Something I was trying to remember all day just came back to me. Don't you hate that when you're trying to remember something all day and then all of a sudden it comes back to you? You're like, yes! But the whole day prior to that, you were really annoyed. That was how I was. So, yay, it just came back to me. Anyways, um, okay. So, the next thing that I got, I was excited about. This is the Be Fine, which I love Be Fine. They make one of the most amazing exfoliators, which I just realized I've been out of for a while and I need to go get more. Anyways, um, this is the Be Fine Food Skin Care Lip Exfoliator with Oat Protein, Sesame Oil, and Pineapple. This stuff is pretty good. It's a very gentle exfoliator. I'm not going to lie. I think I like my Lush exfoliator better, but this is good for days when I need something a little gentler and not so scrubby on my lips. Um, yeah, but I love the brand Be Fine. It's an awesome brand. The next thing, this is why at first I was disappointed and then I realized I was confused. This is the Ahava, which when I saw Ahava, I thought it was like another foot cream or hand cream. And I was like, I'm stocked with Ahava for life. I don't need any more. And then I realized it's a cleansing cream, which is perfect because I actually love cream cleansers. Um, if you didn't see, I just did a favorite facial cleansers video. I'll link it like over here somewhere. Um, but I love cream cleansers, so I'm really excited to try this one as well because I've heard a lot of really great things about Ahava skincare. So... Alright, the next thing, I just tried this last night, and holy Toledo, this stuff smells amazing. And I actually am not one to really like oils in my hair, because I feel that, like, it feels like I'm wearing product. But this stuff doesn't really feel like I'm wearing product, and it is the best, most amazing smell I've ever smelled. I don't know what it's called, Orf Orofluido? Orofluido? It's just this beautiful, like, vanilla, um, almost vanilla gardenia like sweet oh my gosh it's amazing I am definitely going to have to go on the site and look into possibly buying this full size just because the smell is so like intoxicating <laughs> so yeah the next thing I'm actually really excited to try this is actually the last thing it is by the Laundress New York it is a delicate wash in lady it is non-toxic biodegradable and allergen free three times the concentrate which makes me think there's a couple uses in here. It effectively cleans, it remains gentle on fabrics such as silk, silk blends, cotton, linen, polyester, and more. Um, and it's not tested on animals, so that's good. I don't know why I said that in that voice, but anyways. So yeah, that is it. 
Um, I liked my birch box this month. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I will be linking previous birch box videos if you want to kind of see what to expect before you place your order. The site will also be linked down below if you're interested in placing your order. Um, and y'all. Okay, so I will see you all next time. I hope you have a great rest of the day. And yeah, adios amigos. Did you hear that? My neighbor's bump and rap. <laughs> I'm learning stuff to help you look bright and awake and happy and yeah, so that's it.